are. You don't have to have a degree to be yeah. a writer, illustrator, an artist. Like, you just, you just experiment and you find your niche and you find your way of doing it. Hi everyone, I'm Christy Lindsay. I live in Zambia, born in Zimbabwe. I'm an illustrator, artist and designer. I was kind of the kid that was always drawing on my, my, on my maths books and always doodling. And then when it came to figuring out what I wanted to do as a career, we found this um, academy called Stellenbosch Design Academy. And then I did graphic design, I majored in graphic design. So um, that basically set my path as a graphic designer, an illustrator and an artist. Yeah, you don't have to have a degree to be yeah. a designer, illustrator, an artist. Like, it just you just experiment and you find your niche and you find your way of doing it. I just I went to this academy for graphic design because I did learn a lot of extra skills, which I feel that I would have taken me longer to learn on my own. And you know, when you have a mentor as your lecturer to teach you all these things, it's, it's huge help. It pushes you. You learn so many skills in such a short period of time which definitely does give you an advantage in the industry, but you don't definitely don't have to have a degree to be an artist, illustrator or a designer, not, for, not at all. Yes, it did. Um, in terms of marketing myself as a designer, um, pushing my creativity and like thinking out the box, which I mean, some people probably know those skills before I even got to the university and some people have them. But uh, for me personally, it helped me hugely. And yeah, and just different ways of uh, different things in, in graphic design, I learned and illustration, which uh, basically just makes your learning process faster by having, um, by doing this degree, but you can definitely, most definitely learn it on your own. And yeah, mainly marketing myself, um, pushing my design thinking, thinking out the, outside the box, uh, problem solving. So those are the kind of skills I definitely did develop from um, doing this course. Just don't be afraid to create, constantly create. I mean, I was given advice that if you create every single day, I mean, anything from like a tiny doodle on a page to a painting, you'll eventually grow hugely as a designer in your own skill and your ability. And don't be scared to share. I think we, as designers, we're always so critical on our own work. And what you find as a flaw in your own work, a lot of people won't see that flaw and find it absolutely beautiful. So don't be, share, don't be scared to share your work, I think is definitely a big one. And then for portfolios, I mean, these days, our whole entire life revolves on social media. So don't be afraid to, do, to create a Behance page, a LinkedIn, a social media. Like just don't be afraid to share as much work as possible just to get your work there, you out in there in your niche. I've had such a lovely childhood growing up on farms and my parents are in the um, farming and travel industry so I've had the opportunity to you know visit national parks around Zambia and Zimbabwe which has um, now become such a passion of, passion of mine conservation and wildlife so that you'll find throughout most of my work is definitely a huge inspiration is um, wildlife and conservation. Um, I'm a freelance designer, so I've got lots, I'm, lots of projects going on at the moment with different companies, different clients. Um, I find the best way to get like around getting yourself known in Zambia and Zimbabwe is definitely networking. It's still a huge, a huge way to get yourself known. I mean, word of mouth can make or break you here. And then obviously social media. So like I have had clients from Australia and England and America, so that helps a lot through social media. Um, yeah, so those are basically the two ways I work. The Illustration Design Club, the Design, the Design Club, and the Pattern Design Club, which is Design Hill and all you guys, that definitely helps a lot. Um, I do Google a few like trends if there's anything happening. Currently, for the end of this year, I'm going to have an exhibition um, in collaboration with Conservation Low Zambies. Um, it's always good get, always to give back to the community. So these two organizations 
um, have anti-poaching teams down in South, in South Luangwa and Zambezi, which are national parks in Zambia. So they work tirelessly trying to protect the environment and conservation, the ecosystem in those areas. So by having an exhibition, um, proceeds will go towards those um, organizations. And collaboration is like the best thing ever because you, I mean, you grow yourself as a designer, you learn so much from other people, from if you're working with an artist, you learn, you know, you, you learn their way of thinking and thinking outside the box, which you thought you, you probably would never get. And they learn from you. So that's the best thing about collaboration is sharing information and sharing techniques and um, ways to do anything creative. Hi, thank you.